Let's see what happens here. Going down the back. Yep, got him. Yep. Oh, Jesus. That is the danger zone. That's getting a bit better. That's probably getting into the 40s there. This thing buzzing past the snag that they've set up in and tried to fight other bass for, they want to get it out of there. So spinner baits and chatter baits, so I just really recommend them for this time of year. Actually got a change of plan here, gang. Got the river behind me here. My car's just down over this crest, but we're gonna walk over this way and I'll show something off to you. Hopefully we get a few fish out of it. What we have here in front of us is one of those lagoons that I was talking about earlier. So there is the river, that tree line over there. And this is, I guess, where the river used to run through, but is now a landlocked lagoon. I've no idea how long it's been closed for, for probably only a couple of years. We do get the pretty regular floods down here, but there is bass in here much more devoid of snags and things and i've just slowly been figuring out where the fish hold but you do have little bits of weed and then uh, a bit of timber along the banks as well some it seems a bit of structure in the middle every now and then as well so let's see if they're keen to play ball in here fair bit dirtier water and i've just changed over to a bit of a darker style uh, spinnerbait still quite bright but i do love that bit of black on it as well and the um, brass style or coloured blades. So these ones are the Molex FS spinnerbait, finesse spinnerbait. Only new to being onto them, but they've been performing very, very well. Um, with spinnerbaits, like I'd highly recommend getting these ones, but uh, some spinnerbaits do come with a trailer hook attached so there'll be a two hook rig happening here one held on with a little bit of usually just a bit of um pvc tubing i'd recommend getting rid of the trailing hook it just makes it twice as snag resistant just running the one hook and then you can also run a uh what's called a trailer as in put a soft plastic on the uh, shank of the hook as well. These ones don't have a keeper, a grub keeper, but you can get soft plastics on there to stay quite well, just using a tiny drop of super glue on the um, shank of the hook. And can be worth doing. Um, these spinnerbaits have been performing fine without them, so I'm not gonna put a soft plastic trailer on there just yet, but it, you can do it. Anyways. So I'm just going to be casting up along the bank and then out into the uh, straight across as well. Even letting it sink all the way down to the bottom and doing a slow wind. See if we can get one. Oh, that was a hit. You can see the swirl of his tail right there. See if he comes back. Running that trailer hook, or the two hook rig, you do hook more fish. When they're in the mood, they just inhale it. I think I might have missed one bite over at the river. They've just been absolutely smashing it. And running the two hooks you do it does increase that uh strike rate sometimes they're nipping the tail a bit more 
but yeah it's just not worth it it well, depends where you're fishing I guess because yeah it'll just have it snag up much more it doesn't really ride over logs the front hook rides over and that back hook just catches Yep, there he is. There he is. Got him. Got him. Oh, thank you for heading out that way. No, don't go back in. Don't go back in. Okay. How big are you? Not bad. Not bad at all. A little bit tangled up. There we go. A lagoon bass. Come on, play nice, play nice, play nice. Open your mouth. There we go. Oh. Calm down, calm down. Got him. So there we go. A little lagoon bass. Well, not so little. Oh, he's nearly gotten back in. There we go, got him. Oh, so how's that one? Just shows the kind of places you can find these strange little fish. He's a very nice one. Beautiful. And it's odd that, um, it's much dirtier water in here and they've been trapped in, but these fish are often a bit cleaner than the river ones over there. Marvellous. I'm a very, very lucky lad to uh, have access to this water. Both the riverfront over there and this lagoon. Thank you for coming. Yep, got another one. Yep. Yep. Oh, he's got me in some timber. Oh, come out. You can just see it's a little stick wiggling around in the water there. Fingers crossed this swims back the other way. Um, otherwise, I don't know. It. Oh, he's got me off. He's got me off and he's got me on a stick. Bugger, he was a good fish. Damn. Oh, is that gonna, gonna come off? Yes, got it. There is some big fish in here, which is awesome. Hopefully that hasn't spooked the rest of them that hang out on this edge here. No, definitely not. Got him. Oh my. That is a bit of weight. That is a fair bit of weight there. He's not foul hooked, is he? I think this is going to be a pretty good fish. He's staying deep. Get away from that. This is going to be a good fish. Oh, nice. Okay, you beauty, not the uh, easiest spot to land a fish here, got star pickets, rusted star pickets poking out and stuff, come on open your mouth, got him, got him, jeez ah. you went harder than your size right, but they are battlers, they are the most awesome little fish, if you are Someone who's never tried bass fishing, they are unreal.
another quality bass. He'd be right around that 40, maybe just into the 40s. But there you go. Such awesome country to fish for and down here. Um, if you've been watching the channel for a, a little while, you'll know I've had the uh, I've got the beach fishing charters up and running, which has been going awesome. Had some really good outings with a bunch of really good people. So, but what I'm thinking moving forward as well, I've always wanted to expand operations, but doing some land-based bass fishing guiding might be one of the next things to get started because it is just so good down here. Anyways, I'll keep you in the loop with that. I'll also link down in the description the um, the beach fishing stuff for you to go check out. If you're uh, coming down, live down on the far south coast or coming down, hit me up and we'll go for some beach fishing. Down the line. It's bouncing over some timber. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, got him. Oh my lord. Oh, oh no, he's found some timber. Swim out the other way. Swim out the other way. He's still on. Swim out the other way. Come on. Do it. Do it. Swim out the other way. Is he still on? Yeah, he's still on that. Go on, ah, oh, go on. <laughs> Damn, that was a good one. <laughs> oh my lord! Right, chuck on another spinner bait, and we'll keep going. All right, we'll see how the blue green meanie goes. Haven't tried this colour yet. That was a nice fish. Oh, <laughs> well, they must like it because that was a bite straight away. <laughs> the fish are fired up today. So I guess I've left it pretty late, but may as well go over the um, conditions you're kind of looking for for, for bass because the weather does make a bit of a difference. Um, generally, what you want is a nice warm day, warm water and um, high barometer. They're one of the fish that a, a barometer is worth checking out. So anything getting into the 20s, the mid 20s and higher is starting to look like very good bass fishing weather, the bass fishing um, temperature. See if I can get this lure back very gently without disturbing the piece here. Um, oh, come on, what's that going on? Okay. So yeah, those muggy summer days, spring days, with a higher barometer, that's what you're looking for. Um, days with high wind can be a bit of a pain because depending on what trees are lining the um, banks, they can, it can cause it. Yep, got him. Oh, oh. Man, oh, it's so fun bass fishing. So damn fun. <laughs> but uh, the windy days can cause a lot of leaves to come down on the water, which top water goes out the window, but then also a lot of um, subsurface as well because your line just gets choked up with the leaves, debris, and then it goes down, affects the lure. So a nice, calm, hot, high barometer day is the goods. Um, in saying that, also had some quite good sessions fishing on a uh, falling barometer as a uh, storm front moves into and some good sessions in the rain so don't let uh, the barometer and the temperature of the air be the be all and end all get out there and have a crack but certainly those high barometer days that's what you're looking for make sure you um, get out and about
Oh, that was a hit. Missed him. But that was a hit. We'll get straight back over there. We'll run it by him again. Oh, there he was again. <laughs> he might be a littler one. But you'd be surprised the... Uh... Oh, boy. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Far out. I was just about to say, you'll be surprised the uh, size of the bass that will find these big hooks on these things, but that was a good one. <laughs> the lagoon's going off. Need to land one though, Jesus, come on. It's funny that they're just so stacked up in here, you know, there's not, definitely not as much structure around as uh, oh, over on the, uh, on the river and there was another bite. But yeah, they just must have, um, when it was flood, they thought this was a good spot to shack up. And I'm not mad about it. One bit. Man, it's nearly a bite of cast at the moment. Oh, that's the bank. Another one. Oh my God. This is a joke. Oh, did I drop it again? What the hell is going on? What's this hook like? Yeah, it's sharp. There you go, far out. And they're just so simple to use these spinner baits, but they work. Drives the bass nuts. Now that was an interesting bite. Yeah, she picked it up and ran towards me. Oh, another good quality fish. Going off in here. Get away from that timber. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there he is. He's up, we got him, we got him, and he's a good fish, there we go, absolute beauty, I'm going to get this hook straight out, oh, let go of it mate. There goes the hook. So I have, oh, I have noticed with the fish in here. And have a look at that one, cracker. But I have noticed with the fish in here, they are especially fat. And I'd say that's a female that's still full of roe. And because she couldn't get to the salt water, she's just going to reabsorb those eggs back into her body. But there you go. That's uh, getting to be quite a very good fish there. That's going to be mid 40s, I'd say. Let's get her back. Off she goes. A whole heap of uh, weeds there, ribbon weeds. So that's what they're hanging out in. Unreal. Another good fish. <laughs> ah, Lord. This has been an unreal session, guys. I hope it's gotten you keen to get into these fish. Oh, a bit of a 
Bad haircut up on top. Oh no. Just realised I forgot to press record there. Anyways, there you go. You would have hopefully got half that fight. Another chunky fish. Nice. Get this hook out. And away you go. Oh, thick as. Yep, there's one. Oh boy, that is another good one. It's kind of odd. There's quite a bit of depth out in the middle, but it seems she's still in the wind. As soon as it sits the water, that's how I've been getting them. They must be sitting up pretty high in that water column. How big's this one? He's another medium-sized one. But another bass. No, he's actually pretty good. Another pretty good one. Yeah, I've got you. There we go. Whew. Absolutely beautiful. The lagoon is going off. The river is going good. Get bass fishing, people. It's unreal. Get this hook out. But yeah, it's been a bit funny where I've been letting it sink all the way to the bottom. Sorry if you're not seeing much at the moment. But I've been letting that lure sink all the way to the bottom. And kind of just... Not the most graceful exit. But I've been working the whole water column. Letting it go all the way to the bottom. But even out in the middle, it seems the fish are up pretty high. So there you go. Yeah, got him. Got him. Just bumped over a couple bits of timber and the fish on. think he's going to be fish of the day but it is another one well it is another just good quality bass and I think I mentioned earlier but yes the low light periods are prime time so understandable that we've been getting a few more bass in this dying light Another beauty. Thick as. Hopefully there's not water all over the screen. Sorry if there is. There we go. Another one. Yep, got him. Oh. <laughs> Oh, get away from that timber! Oh man! <sighs> ah, far out. Another stud. There you go. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. <sighs> Just 
Ready for good measure. Look at that one. Far out. That is a quality fish. Man, is there water all over the camera? Just gonna rest him on my knee a little bit here. Especially these big ones, you don't wanna just grip them by the uh, by the jaw and leave them hanging. Support the belly as much as you can. Look at that. Oh, and I think that is gonna do it. That's the uh, back end of this lagoon done. Could probably go get some more fish out of the river, but I've had my fill. It's been an unreal session. And we'll finish it off with that chungus. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah, fat as. Say that's another female that's laden with roe. And off she goes. Well, hot dog. Got a bit of spray on the face, bit of spray on the camera, but that is gonna do it, guys. An unreal. Well, I've had a few sessions this uh, season already, but that has been an unreal to the videos of Wild River Bass. Season should be very good. This is gonna fish well for top water in here, especially and over at the river as well. So gonna be a good few months of bass videos coming for you. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, like and subscribe would be uh, greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one.